Hello and welcome back to the Drummond Channel on Wednesday, September 6th. Uh, hope everybody had a great long weekend. Uh, gave the market uh, yesterday a little time to digest the three-day weekend. And we're going to take a look at silver and then get into the NASDAQ and see how things are progressing. We, uh, we're excited about the idea of a triple dot push on, uh, on a quarterly, uh, well, yearly, quarterly, monthly and weekly uh, perspective on the silver market, and that is not happening. Never got any confirmation that the uh, market, that the support areas were holding. And you can see here, over here in the middle on the weekly chart, we had a weekly PL dot. There's the quarterly, there's the monthly, and the yearly was over here on the left, up on the, uh, just above on the, on the monthly chart. So it was expecting that these areas would hold and right out of the gate uh, yesterday, over here on the right on the daily chart, uh, market broke through all of those support areas and continuing down lower today. So for the time being, uh, this triple dot push is not manifesting itself and I'm going to be sitting on my hands and, and waiting to see if this starts to uh, gather some support. Right now, the weekly envelope bottom is breaking and the next, uh, the next lower uh, area of support is the uh, monthly envelope bottom. So we'll see how that plays out. You can look over here on the, on the left on the monthly chart and this market has been in congestion for seven months now and doesn't look like it's done yet. Uh, congestion traveling down towards the monthly envelope bottom and then start to push back up and we'll keep you posted. We'll see how that works out. But right now, as I said, uh, this triple dot push is, is has broken. There was never a trade. Uh, yesterday's movement uh, put all that on the on the back burner for the time being. Now for the NASDAQ, let's get oriented, have a new monthly bar, and I want to look at the PL dots, connecting these two PL dots together and projecting that forward. And you can see that this PL dot has swung off the main channel line, which is an indication that the upward trend is slowing. Another thing I'd like to point out on this monthly chart is the market has been moving up for a couple of years. And Charlie talks about this in one of his books is uh, you get a trend reversal, which this may have been. And when the market moves up towards the previous high or the previous low, but fails in this area and starts to head back down, you know, that's a very, very uh, high probability trade in this case to the downside. So the early indication again on the monthly chart is that this PL dot has swung off the main channel line. Uh, we had a trend reversal. And also we had a, a yearly 6-1 down up in this area. We had some quarterly resistance up in this area. And now the monthly chart is starting to show weakness. To me, the, the weekly chart is a little less clear for a downside because we had this move down. This is a congestion entrance bar last week. You can see that the weekly peel dots are starting to swing up. And this area between the, the monthly peel dot and the weekly PL dots is a good area of support right now. So we're going to have to wait and see if this area starts to manifest some energy and start to push this market back up. And when we look at the daily chart, I'm still including this box up here. That was the, the yearly 6-1 down. That was the quarterly resistance area. So this area is still important, still holding. And the daily chart, you can see that the PL dots are starting to roll over and starting to push down. And we're going to see how the daily and the lower time periods react down in this area. And uh, so I'll keep you posted. But for right now, it, it looks like, you know, the, the push down is still unfolding. And next target is monthly PL dot. And down below that is weekly PL dot. And then we're going to start looking at monthly and uh, weekly envelope bottom if that's what ha if, if we get uh, if we get through the peel dot areas if you have any questions please uh, put them in the comment section below the video and i'll do my best to address them uh, thank you for watching uh, please uh, like and subscribe to these videos and you'll get updates when we post them thanks again and we'll see you again soon